guys, welcome to Beanie Jean. So today we're going to figure out how we go from this to this nice high bun. All right, so let's get to it. All right, so first thing first is definitely to wet my hair. I just put water in a spray bottle um, and go to town basically. I don't want to be brushing my hair with dry hair at all. Next, I'm going to use my Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner as my moisturizer. One of the most important things to me when my hair is in any protective style is moisturization because I hate to sit there and think that my hair is just sitting in this style of dry. Um, I have high porosity hair, so it's very key for me um, to make sure that my hair is moisturized at all times in any type of style. Um, so this just ensures that before we get into the styling process. To further lock in that moisture, I just have grapeseed oil and coconut oil in this spray bottle. Um, it's for easy application and I just smooth that over um, my tips and my ends and brush that out from tip to root. Now that we're done with the moisturization, it's time for the actual bun making. These Goody Ashless hair ties or elastics are literally the best thing ever. They're in between the size of like the normal wrist size and a headband size. And if you put your hair in high puffs or whatever, they are literally the best thing ever created. Um, I got them from Walgreens for like a fair price. Um, so they're actually great. brush my hair up into the bun that I want just to make sure I have my placement right and everything. And here I'm going to use the Cantu Define and Shine Custard as my gel because I don't like gel and it always flakes on me so if y'all can recommend a good like decent gel, um, preferably not eco styler or something. Um, but anyway, so I use that and it works just as fine um, and it's moisturizing as my, um, as my gel for my Actually brushing my hair up into the bun is made super easy by the fact that I have put my leave-in conditioner, my oil, and now my custard, which has a lot of slip. Uh, so that's how I wrangle my afro into the bun. Um, and then I wrap my hair elastic around um, three times. And, you know, just make sure to pull out any hair, stretch it out, fluff it up, do all that good stuff. Alright, so now it's edges time. I use my Cream of Nature Argon Oil Perfect Edges Edge Control, which works perfectly for my hair type and hold as well. Um, I'm by no means a great edge slayer. Um, my hair is in an afro 90% of the time, so I don't have to do them. But when I do have to do them, this edge control works perfectly fine for me. Um, I would recommend if you do want. Um, like a tutorial or something on edges, there are plenty of them out there because, um, you know, people be slaying the edges on a regular basis. Um, so after I do that, then I will put my silk wrap on and let it set. letting it sit you have the puff all right guys thank you for watching i hope you gained some helpful tips and tricks to go from a nice <laughs> big afro to a compact um and cute hairstyle so please check out my other videos and thank you for watching have a good one